Uh, it means a lot. Um, my dad went to John Wood. My brother went to John Wood. So uh, for me, be the third to go there. So I mean, it means a lot to me, especially whenever those two went there, and I really looked up to both men. He is the quintessential Brad Hoyt recruit, the latest in a long line of local player of the year honorees from a small high school, largely under recruited as such, looking for the chance to polish his skills at the JUCO level, win a lot of games playing for the Trailblazers, and then move on to a four-year future. Except in Zach Evans' case, when he gets to John Wood, the man who built this basketball business model won't be there to see it through. I really liked Hoyt whenever I first went there and for a visit, um, but unfortunately he went to QU, um, but I can't blame him. That's a better job, but um, I like their ag program a lot. I went and visited their ag uh, facility, and their ag program's really, really nice, and um, that's what I'm studying is ag business, so um, I really like their ag program. Evans, then, is banking on faith that John Wood gets their coaching hire right, and the success continues. Uh, it means a lot. Um, their success, they've had a really, really lot of uh, success here lately, so, uh, I mean, the winning chemistry is there, um, the team uh, chemistry is there, so, I mean, it's just the best fit for me. And in so doing, gives the next Blazer basketball boss a dynamic young backcourt, along with Camp Point Central's Nick Moore, to build around. We played together for uh, Johnny Dahl over there at Crossover Hoops, so uh, we have that chemistry already, so that's going to help a lot, especially in games and practice when we understand each other and how we play. Evans is also now extending an impressive line of Bluffs basketball products turned Blazers following the examples of Aaron Littig and Gabe Cox. Absolutely, um, I've been talking with Gabe Cox. He's told me a lot about the program, and uh, he told me that if they, I had any questions, he'd help me out the best he could. So uh, I've had a lot of support there, and uh, it just means a lot to me. And along the way, hoping to expand the canvas of what he can be in his next hardcore evolution. Right, he's, he's a great player that's improved every year for us. Uh, you know, dynamic, that can score at all three levels, can finish at the rim. Um, and and I'm, I'm proud of Zach and everything he's done over the years, and, and I have no doubt in my mind he will be successful at the next level uh, with his ability to score the basketball, and, and, uh, and his, his team around him is better when he's out on the floor, and uh, just his, his game has grown and developed over the years as a scorer, passer, defender, and uh, look forward to watching him at the next level. Uh, definitely the transition of speed. It's going to be a lot quicker. Um, my shooting, I didn't shoot the ball really well this year. Um, so I definitely need to work on that. But the biggest thing is probably defense, um, getting quicker, getting faster, getting stronger. So I'd say that's the biggest thing. He's been a lot to this community with their younger guys especially. He's a great uh, role model um, in our community uh, on and off the floor. And, uh, you know, just making, making the jump and playing at the next level where a lot of guys don't get a play. Um, you know, is it, special, and, and I know he'll have uh, quite a showing at games from, from our community and our program. 